as the high point of my time in Australia. It was the occasion when we persuaded a giant of the Australasian political and cultural landscape to appear as our show. I am, of course, talking about your very own cultural ambassador to the court of St. James, Sir Les Patterson. Good night and good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sir Les Patterson. How are you, Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, how are you, Bella? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> You're spilling all that stuff, don't you? Oh, Is that a new suit? It's a brand new... It's a brand new bag of fruit I've got on, Mike. It's very good to see you. I've got a new tailor. A new tailor, have you? Yeah. Do you uh, go to the same tailor all the time? Well, I have a little bloke up there in Kowloon, <laughs> which is a suburb of Hong Kong, and I get about half a dozen a, a time. And he sends me a Christmas card once a year. It's nice, isn't it? Very, very nice indeed. And gives you a drink while he's making the suit. Uh, are they impressed by your figure? Well, of course, the first time I had this little bloke, a lovely little oriental fella, he was down on his knees with his mouth full of pins. <laughs> Looked like a shark. <laughs> and he ran the uh, tape up me inside leg. Might like to do that later, Jackie. <laughs> He said, what side do you dress? Bless, I think. What side do you dress? I said, no worries, just make it a bit baggy round the knees. That's what I said. Next week. In the cemetery, buffing up my husband's obelisk. <laughs> because there's very often... You know, he... He used to like me doing that when he was still... <laughs>